<laughs> Yo, this jacket is loud. <laughs> My name is Arthur. So hey, I'm gonna teach you how to do this. So this is a very cool technique and effect to actually try out in your videos. I highly recommend it if you're doing things like music videos or if you just want to get a little bit more creative, um, I highly recommend it. Um, but before we jump into how we actually do it, I do have to stress, you have to plan. You got to plan ahead. The better you plan your shots or where you're going to be in certain parts in the video, the better the result will be. That one's here. I'm going up the stone. Yep. And I still got space to walk from here. Right. So once you finish filming and you got what you want, we're gonna jump into After Effects. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna drag our footage into our timeline and make a brand new composition. Now, what we want to do is we want to duplicate this layer, pressing Control D if you're on a PC or Apple D if you're on a Mac. Uh, we're going to rename this layer. Simply just press enter and you can rename it and just put uh, maybe two. So we just know that that's our duplicate layer. What we want to do is we want to find the point where we want to uh, freeze frame. So I'm going to freeze right here on this jump. Boom. Okay. Now, once I found the point I want to freeze on, I want to right click. I'm going to go to time and hit freeze frame. Now this whole layer, the duplicate layer is frozen at this point. Now, here comes the fun part. <laughs> you're gonna grab your pen tool, make sure this layer is still selected, your frozen layer, and you're going to rotoscope yourself out of this shot. To do this, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to zoom in a little bit here. So let me just make my screen a little bit bigger. All right. So what you're gonna do now using your pen tool is you're going to create a mask from this frozen layer, right? So this might take a while. So you might want to put some music on. All right, so when you finish rotoscoping, the next part is to split that clip at that point. To do this, we're going to hit Control Shift D. Okay, and then we're going to delete the end footage. Now, as you can see, if we go from this point here, just press play, for example, you get this. Boom. And this is what we're going to be doing for the whole video. So you're going to find the points where you want to freeze frame. You're going to duplicate that layer. And then you're going to rotoscope yourself out using the pen tool. You're going to trim off the fat. And the last bit we're going to do, we're going to do some cleanup here. As you can see here on the jump between my legs, you can still see some of the forest. So to sell the effect, we're going to clean this up. And to do that, we're going to add another mask. So again, click the pen tool, make sure the second layer is highlighted. We're going to zoom in so we get a better view, right? Ooh, there we go. Get a better view, zoom in. And we're going to again, create a mask. So now it's created a new mask for that part in between my legs. But what I want to do is I want to press, I want to press M on that layer that will bring up all my masks. As you can see, this is the pink one. We're going to go to mask two and we're going to go to where it says add, click that drop down and we're going to hit subtract. Boom. So now you can see through my legs and that should sell the effect. So if we zoom out, press play, we get, you can see me behind. Come on computer. You can see me behind and boom. So that's the after effects way, but let's try it in Premiere Pro. So in Premiere Pro, I'm going to drag my footage in to my new sequence, right? As I can play it back there. I'm going to find the point I want to freeze frame. Let's just say I want to freeze frame there. Once I find the point I want to freeze frame, press M on my keyboard. That will bring up my marker. Now this is the point I want to freeze frame. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here where it says export frame. Okay. I'm going to click that. What's that's going to do is going to take a snapshot of this frame. I'm going to save that wherever I want to save it. Let's say my exports. So you go through your whole video, taking snapshots, pressing M, boom, snapshot. Got it. Okay. What I want to do now is I want to get all those snapshots, get them from where I saved them from, bring them into Photoshop and do my rotoscoping in there. 
All right, so the first thing we're doing in Photoshop is that we're gonna bring up those frames, all right? So I've already got my frames all set up here. Let's bring up that first one. All right, so the first thing I wanna do in Photoshop is I'm gonna duplicate this layer. So I'm gonna go right click, duplicate layer, just so I have it there as a fail safe. What I wanna do with the duplicate layer is I just want to rotoscope it out. So I can either use the lasso tool here in the tools by just clicking here and using the magnetic lasso tool to just trying to help me rotoscope this thing out. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, just enough for you to kind of crop yourself out. Now that I've cut myself out, I'm gonna right click in the middle of this and I'm gonna say, hey, I want to select inverse, okay? Then I'm gonna press delete on my keyboard, boom. So that means everything else has been deleted and only the foreground exists. So what I would do now is I would actually save this. I'll go to here to file, save as PNG. Once it's saved, I'm gonna go back into Premiere Pro. And because I know it was the first one on my marker, I'm just gonna bring it in and it should just snap on my marker. So if I'm here, it's just gonna snap on my marker. So it's there. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna stretch it out to the beginning and I'm gonna chop it off where my marker is. So if I play it back, add some music to it. Boom, it's in. Okay, and that's how I would do it in Premiere. I would literally take a snapshot of where I want to freeze frame, open up in Photoshop, cut them out, rotoscope them out. Now there's so many ways you can cut things out in Photoshop. You can either do it with masks. I just did it quickly with a lasso tool because sometimes it's quick for me to do it that way. And then I'll bring it back into Premiere as a PNG and then just layer them all until I've got the effect that I want. Boom! That's pretty much it for that effect. So play around, you know, um, add other things to it to make it more creative, add all those cool things to it. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed guys, I do appreciate it, please uh, do subscribe and give us a like, you know, it helps us grow this channel. And uh, can I just give a round of applause for this jacket? This jacket is so, I love it. So till next time, think about it, be about it. What was that like? I'm out of shape, I'm tired, and uh, Dennis is like, we should have been lawyers. Yeah. <laughs>